Cincinnati Bengals versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've got two similarly built teams here. So you have not quite great quarterback with top flight receiving talent on both sides. Both teams, they have talented tight ends. Problem is both teams have two. Neither one on either team is going to get enough traffic to really be a consistent go-to. I mean, seriously, if either one of these teams traded away one of their tight ends, it'd be fantastic for fantasy football as a whole. You would have a great tight end to start from this team and whoever got the tight end that they traded to. It's frustrating. Um, But anyways... On the Tampa side of things, I do expect them to lose. They're not quite what they were in the first few games with the Fitzmagic offense going. Winston is very good. He's more consistent than Fitzpatrick is, but he does not provide those highlight real games that Fitzpatrick was earlier in the season. Um, Cincinnati is an overall good team. Offense, defense, they've got a lot better leadership on that team, seemingly a bit better coaching, so I'd expect Cincinnati to win here. But I expect fantasy points to come in droves on both sides. The wide receiver talent on both sides is undeniable. Mike Evans is going to be a wide receiver one because Jameis Winston loves loading him down with the ball. So all day Mike Evans number one. Deshaun Jackson is not as consistent, but this game he's going to do well because they're going to have to score a lot of points. Cincinnati's got a very good offense, so Tampa's got to keep their pedal to the floor, and that has Deshaun Jackson written all over it. So this is going to be one of his better games. I would put him in the wide receiver two conversation. Winston is... Available in more leagues than you'd think. He's only owned by about 70 to 75% of fantasy teams, depending on where your league is. So if you need an option for um, an injury uh, or a, um, a bye week, Winston is a good grab for a lot of people still, surprisingly. Um, on the Cincinnati side of things, the big difference for them as opposed to Tampa, is they have a number one running back. Mixon is going to do well in this game. Uh, Tyler Boyd and uh, A.J. Green are going to essentially both be wide receiver ones. Andy Dalton gets both of them the ball uh, with very, very high consistency. So, um, yeah, Uh, Cincinnati's got two wide receiver ones in fantasy right now, which is great. Uh, Andy Dalton is like a QB2. He's never a a QB1. I mean, he gets in his own way a lot. He's got a great offense. They're going to put up points. But he'll find a way to get sacked or throw interceptions. And, you know, he'll score in the 20s in standard leagues. Um, You're going to be able to find a better option than Andy Dalton. Actually, Winston's probably going to be a better option than Dalton. But he is consistent. He's never going to be outside of the 20s in standard scoring leagues, or at least very rarely. I mean, last week was a bit of an outlier for him. Um, For the running backs in Tampa, it's becoming a murky conversation. Peyton Barber, we thought, was going to be the number one for a while. Well, now they got the rookie Jones coming in and getting some carries, getting into the mix. Um... If I understand correctly, he's averaging not as good yards of carry as Barber, but they're testing the waters with the rookie uh, who's got fresher legs, faster, you know, whatever exactly it was they saw in him when they drafted him. And considering the season's going a bit poorly, you're going to start to get a lot of decisions for reps from the GM side of things as opposed to the coach. You're going to get a lot of decisions where... You know, the rookie, hey, get him some playing time so we know what we have. Or get him some playing time so we're going to be able to use him in more important situations next year. So Jones is still going to get a lot of carries even if Barber outperforms him. So 
It's going to be a great game for fantasy wide receivers. Pretty good game for quarterbacks. So if you have anybody in those positions, good for you.